Yet another star of Buffy the Vampire Slayer has spoken out about the show's big boss. David Boreanaz, who played Angel both on Joss Whedon's original Buffy show and its popular spinoff Angel, has released a statement regarding allegations of abusive behavior on the set of Buffy. After his co-star Charisma Carpenter, who played Cordelia, alleged that Whedon hazed and bullied her during and after her pregnancy, Boreanaz took to Twitter to voice his support for Carpenter. Responding to Carpenter's original post on Twitter, Boreanaz said, I am here for you to listen and support you, proud of your strength. Clearly, the two had been communicating offline prior to that message. Carpenter responded, I know you're there for me, David. I appreciate all you've done to demonstrate that support privately as well, especially since Wednesday. Thank you so much. What do you want? The same thing you do. Several of Carpenter's Buffy co-stars have spoken out as well, whether they're backing up her claims or simply offering support. Buffy Summers herself, Sarah Michelle Gellar, simply wrote, While I am proud to have my name associated with Buffy Summers, I don't want to be forever associated with the name Joss Whedon. I am more focused on raising my family and surviving a pandemic currently, so I will not be making any further statements at this time. But I stand with all survivors of abuse and am proud of them for speaking out. Meanwhile, James Marsters, who played Spike, tweeted, While I will always be honored to have played the character of Spike, the Buffy set was not without challenges. I do not support abuse of any kind and am heartbroken to learn of the experiences of some of the cast. I send my love and support to all involved. On February 10th, Carpenter joined forces with former Whedon colleague Ray Fisher, who accused the director of inappropriate behavior on the set of Justice League, and posted a lengthy accusation against the director on social media, alongside the hashtag, I stand with Ray Fisher. Charisma wrote in her statement, For nearly two decades, I have held my tongue and even made excuses for certain events that traumatized me to this day. Joss Whedon abused his power on numerous occasions while working together on the sets of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. The disturbing incidents triggered a chronic physical condition from which I still suffer. It is with a beating, heavy heart that I say I coped in isolation and, at times, destructively. Carpenter detailed several disturbing incidents with Whedon, many of which were centered around her pregnancy, bringing up several examples. Joss has a history of being casually cruel. He has created hostile and toxic work environments on set since his early career. I know because I experienced it firsthand, repeatedly. Examples Carpenter alleged included frequent threats to fire her and mocking her body weight, including calling her fat when she was four months pregnant and weighed 126 pounds. She also accused him of fostering a generally hostile work environment, saying, He was mean and biting, disparaging about others openly, and often played favorites, pitting people against one another to compete and buy for his attention and approval. Carpenter also claimed that Whedon bullied her about her religious beliefs and her pregnancy, forced her to work late and extensive hours late into her pregnancy, and fired her from the series after she gave birth. She concluded, It is abundantly evident that Joss has persisted in his harmful actions, continuing to create wreckage in his wake. My hope now, by finally coming forward about these experiences, is to create space for the healing of others who I know have experienced similar serialized abuses of power. Michelle Trachtenberg, who portrayed Dawn Summers, provided her own claims, saying that she was now brave enough as a 35-year-old woman to publicly accuse Whedon of inappropriate behavior. She wrote on Instagram, So now people know what Joss did. The last comment I will make on this was, there was a rule saying he's not allowed in a room alone with Michelle again. Joss Whedon did not immediately respond to the allegations. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.